What's going on hunters? How's everybody doing today? Today we're going to be taking a look at two predator hunting lights made by a company named Vastfire. So about a month ago the friendly people at Vastfire sent me an email wondering if I would take a look at a couple of their predator hunting lights that they have for sale. I uh, took a look at some reviews online, took a look at the Amazon reviews, some feedback, and decided I did want to look into them a little bit further. And they were kind enough to send over a few flashlights for me to take a look at. They are both rated at 350 yard flashlights, both of them in green LEDs. And for review purposes, I'm going to call this one just the silver weapon light. And this one I will call the zoomable weapon light. Each light comes with these nice little green plastic carrying cases. No handles on these boxes but they do have four latches which keeps everything inside nice and secure and it's the same size box for each flashlight depending on which model you want to get and we'll get into which one I think is better and what suits my style of hunting better and then I'll let you guys make your own decision after that. Um, but the silver flashlight is a fixed zoom or you could just say a no zoom. It is just a standard constant beam. And then the black one here, it is zoomable, just like it says on the side. Um, very easily you can twist it or it's just as quick to just pull it straight in and straight out. And I'll show you a little bit of a close up here a little bit later on and we'll get these mounted up on the weapon so you can take a look and see how they mount up. But we'll just dig right in here guys and take a look at what's inside of each box and we'll go over the pros and cons of each and just tell you what I think about them. We'll start out here and we'll just take a look at the silver weapon light first. So on Amazon it says that this is a thousand lumen weapon light and it does take the 18650 battery. You can see here it's their own brand Vastfire. Comes with the charger it's actually a dual charger. It comes with two of the 18650s. And then you get the clamp to mount to the weapon light, which then you can mount this to your scope. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit. And then this here is a clamp that you can clamp to the barrel of your weapon or you can take this off and then you can mount this to any rail system, any piece of pick rail that you have on your weapon. As you can see, that's basically just a short little piece of pick rail right there. I don't really care too much for the, the barrel clamps, so I don't use those, but I have my scope set up with a little piece of pick rail, and I'll show you how I attach this uh, to my weapon. And then once you do get it mounted onto your weapon, you would take the tail cap off, the push button, set that to the side, you would install this tail switch or pressure switch, however you want to phrase it. Then what I've been doing is you would just get a piece of double sided tape, put it right here. And now you can just control everything by this. The charging time on these 18650s with this charger, the Amazon site says six to eight hours. And then what I've been seeing is about a three hour run time or so with those batteries. So now we'll take a closer look at the contents inside the carrying case of the zoomable weapon light. And there's the markings again. So this one just comes with one battery and it's a single charger, 18650 again. I'm gonna unthread the back cap here and show you guys something that I really like on this. So I have quite a few different weapon lights and none of my other ones have this ability. But if you take this 18650 out, you'll notice, I don't know if the 
camera's gonna pick that up. But you'll notice inside here is just a little plastic collar, little plastic sleeve. What that does is that allows you to use this insert, which you can use uh, three AAA batteries. So in case you know you're out of the 18650s, um, most everybody has AAAs on hand. You can just load this with three AAAs and then just drop that right in and put your cap back on. So I thought that was a very handy little feature to have. So just like the other one, you have your pressure switch here. Just take that, thread the pressure switch cap on, and then you would mount this to your handguard or your rail on your weapon, and then simple click. And once again, here is the uh, mount for the light. This one only came with one mount, but this is my preferable mount anyway. And I'll throw this on the weapon here in just a second and show you how that looks. So both of these weapon lights are O-ring sealed right here. So I'm not sure exactly how waterproof they are, but I'd be confident and comfortable using these just in rainy conditions. That's kind of what it looks like when it just slides in and out there. And with it in its closed position, this light is five and a half inches long. And when it's fully extended, you'd be looking at 6.3 inches. So one thing that I did notice that I want to make sure I mention the title, whenever you're looking at this light on Amazon, it does say 350 yard capability. But if you look down into the actual verbiage on the posting, it does say 250 yards, which I fully agree with that 250 statement. So I think they could just make a quick change to their title, call it a 250 yard weapon light, uh, because I do agree with that. And that's what I would be comfortable with using it out to. So as you can see here, I have it mounted on top of my optic on this piece of pick rail. And I don't have the Allen screws exactly all the way um, screwed down. But before you go hunting, you know, you would get these secured down, uh, make them level, make them even. Then you'd run your pressure switch wire. What I do is I just loop it back behind my, my optic and then I run it up to the side. Then once you find out wherever you want to put your pressure switch, you know, you would just put a piece of double sided tape on that and put it right on your hand guard and then you would have your button to click to turn it off and on. So you can see here I swapped out the weapon lights and put the silver one on here and same exact setup. I prefer this over the uh, scope clamp. Um, this system is just a lot more solid, a lot more rigid. Uh, this, you know, you're just unscrewing this torque knob right here. That allows room to slide over your scope wherever you pick. You would just tighten that back down and then your weapon light would set right in this hole. One thing if I was going to tell Vastfire is maybe to replace this option with this little piece of Picatinny rail that can go on to the scope. But this is just going to be a much more secure mounting method than, you know, this plastic clamp. It's going to be a little more wobbly. So I prefer this option, but to each their own and whatever works best for you. I would just take this. Throw some double-sided tape on it, and you've got your button right here. So this kind of pressure switch is actually a double button. Uh, the back button is just simply an on and off. And then the front button, you can just hold it, and the light will stay on, and when you let go, it's off. So I'm going to come out here later tonight and show you guys some footage using these flashlights and I just want to give you some daytime observation of what it's going to look like. So right here we've got my buck target that's probably about 30 yards. One wood line 
that's right here. It's a little bit closer. Top of that hill is probably about 120, 130 yards. And then straight back here is the far wood line. If you can see that white right in there, that is a barn. And that wood line is about 295 yards. At night, there's going to be a light on on that barn, and you can pick it up much easier for reference. The first light that we're going to take a look at is the silver fixed zoom. And first thing I'm showing you guys here, this is in my backyard. This buck target is about 30 yards away from us right now. Go ahead and move out into the field. And this tree line right here, that tree line is probably about 100 yards away. And then if you can see this light right in there, that is a barn that is 295 yards away. Raise the camera up here. So there's the barn light without the flashlight on. And turn it back on. You can see it lights up back there, but it does not light up the tree line. I have some other flashlights that will light up that tree line, but that is 295 yards, and this one does not do that. But you can see here out to 100, maybe 120 yards. It does a very nice job. You can shine this whole part of the field right here. It's a little bit foggy out here. We've got a lot of rain lately. But 100 to 120 yards, very visible. And if there was an animal out there, hog or a coyote, whatever you're hunting, it's going to pick up the eyes very easily. And now we're going to do the same test with the zoomable flashlight. Right now it's on its widest focal point. We we'll call this just a flood flood zoom. And then we'll tighten the beam down. You can start to see that buck target right there at about 30 yards come into focus very nicely. A nice ring around it, slowly focusing in. And then we'll just go ahead and look out here into that tree line. Still on a fairly wide beam right here. We'll go ahead and push it all the way in. You can see it almost makes like a, a square, which my other lights do that as well. But then it picks up that tree line perfectly. That would just pick up any predator's eyes extremely well. Within, I would say, 120 yards right there would be just fine. If I can zoom it back out just a little bit. Now I've picked up the camera and we're going to try to take a look at that barn. Right there's that red light. It's kind of an amber colored light, but that's the barn at 295 yards. And this you can't really, it's not picking up the trees either. So I can't quite get 300 yards out of these lights, but I'd be confident in saying 250 to probably 265 is definitely going to pick up predator's eyes. I doubt you can make out exactly what animal you're viewing, but you're at least going to be able to get some reflection of the eyes. So I'm going to commit to saying these are both good at 250 to maybe 265 yards. Definitely able to pick up eyes and then you can just follow them in. Uh, closer to where you're setting. 
and then once you pick them up at that range then you know just keep calling them in get them closer to where you're setting out with your rifle and that way you can make a good decision on what you're actually getting ready to take a shot at for my style hunting it just the zoomable option um, just adds a lot of benefits um, so if you're setting up on a you know a tight quarters field or hunting at night even in some brushy timber I want to have some flexibility some play in you know how I can kind of widen out the radius of my viewing area or if I'm scanning a wide open field I want to be able to zoom in real tight and see what is out there um, like I mentioned outside during that nighttime footage I uh, don't think these are quite going to get out to 350 yards, but I would be confident in saying that 250 to 265 yards is, is very doable. Uh, you're definitely going to be able to pick up the predator's eyeballs, the reflection from their eyes um, within that range. And then I wouldn't be confident in being able to identify what animal you're getting ready to take a shot at at that yardage. But once you locate the, the sets of eyes, you know, you just want to stay on target with the weapon mounted light and then keep calling and get that predator in closer to you so you can make sure and make a safe identification of the animal that you're getting ready to take a shot at. So all in all, for the price that you're gonna pay for these things, uh, this one here on Amazon, it's only $25.99 and it is on Prime, so you're gonna get free shipping with that. Um, I mean, this, I'll be honest, this is not gonna be my everyday coyote hunting light just because I have more that I paid probably, what, five or six times more than this for. But for 26 bucks, someone just starting out, someone maybe with, you know, a, kind of a limited budget, uh, this is more than what you need. For 26 bucks, being able to locate that animal's eyes out to 250 yards or so, um, and having, you know, zoom capabilities or, you know, a wider beam focused down into a tighter beam, um, at that price point, you just can't, you know, you can't beat it. You've got good quality construction. For the silver weapon light with the uh, fixed beam, you're looking at $31.34 right now on Amazon. So for $31, bucks, free shipping, uh, once again, a very solid deal, very good construction. Uh, this one's kind of set up more maybe for like a, a handheld, just a flashlight. Um, it does have a very powerful uh, Cree LED bulb in it. To me, whenever I compare the two, you know, you're going to pay less for the zoomable one, but you get more options with it. So that's kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, that's the one that I would definitely pick, and that's the one that I think is the, the better out of the two. And that's just my per personal preference. You know, if, if someone gets on there and reads other reviews and they see that they might like the silver one better than, you know, more power to them. Everybody's hunting style is a little bit different, but this has more options being able to hunt, you know, with a light at closer range and then being able to zoom it in real tight to a fixed beam. So if you guys are interested after this review, just take a look on Amazon, search for the company Vastfire. Uh, they have several other flashlights as well. These are the two that I picked out and they sent to me and um, I would recommend them to any of my hunting buddies, friends, you know, relatives. Uh, very good budget friendly weapon mounted hunting lights. So take a look at them. Very nice people to deal with. They make a good product at a very good price. I've used these weapon lights for around a couple weeks now probably and had a lot of good luck with them. Uh, they served the purpose that I needed them for, for the price that you know you can get into them at. You know you're getting a heck of a product. So as I always like to say, I appreciate you guys following along. You guys keep this channel going. I plan to keep putting more videos out. Make sure to subscribe, follow along, stay tuned for more videos, and as always, happy hunting. Can't beat it. See you guys later.